So at my core, I'm a teacher. My drive, my passion is about facilitating learning in, in students. So that's what my background is. I also have a background in assessment, feedback management and curriculum design, and they all lock together to that core principle of student learning, making sure that students are learning what they need to learn and showing us that they've learned it. So of course, the underbelly of that, the side we don't like to talk about is that cheating happens, that inevitably in a population, any population, there are a certain amount of people who are cheating. So that's the thing I'm advocating for. And that's what's really been my focus for the last 10 years or so, is to turn to face the problem of student cheating. As an educator, some of the main challenges that generative AI presents us with is the stark fact that the assessment tasks that we get students to do, which usually involves them generating some kind of an artifact, whether it be an essay or an exam paper or a performance, a lot of those artifacts can now be produced to at least a good enough standard by a robot. So we have to accept that at least some of how we've currently designed assessment and feedback to work is now at risk. So we need to, the challenge really for a teacher, for an educator is to think, okay, now what, what do I do? How do I move beyond this into a place where I can be more confident that I'm measuring genuine student learning? But the other side of the coin, of course, is that we have to accept that these tools exist. They're in the work, of the world of work. They're actually gonna to start to infiltrate the very tools that most of us use in our professional daily lives. So the whole question that we've got to think about is on the one hand, we need to be confident that we've seen that the student can do the work themselves. But on the other side of that coin, we have to ask ourselves, well, in a world where ChatGPT exists, what is the work? That's the challenge. The key focus that a teacher has to keep is on the learning. A, we should be designing assessment for and as learning. In other words, we should be designing it for the students who would never cheat. But on the other side of things, in some ways we have to kind of give up on being too distracted by how students are cheating. We need to sort of sweep away the technologies, the techniques, the strategies they're using to cheat and focus in instead on learning. So the way I'm describing it to people at the moment is to say, stop trying to find evidence that proves that cheating has occurred and instead try to find evidence that learning has occurred. That allows you to keep your teacher hat on and also reframes the relationship you've got with your students and the process we're all going through when we do assessment, feedback, grading, marking. We need to turn our attention to the really important proposition of how do we empty the value of cheating from our courses and focus instead on assuring learning.